it's a perfect time to reset our thoughts and our mind and to change the rules to get better understanding of this world. Nobody gets to choose the native tongue, but the language we grow up speaking is not the only thing the society imposes upon us. Hi, my name is Olga Rojas and this is Live and Wear Need channel. Social norms even prescribe the content and the form of our dreams. But there is a different way. We can break free from this structure by establishing new rules that can lead us to become a better version of ourselves. Be impeccable with your words and never use it against yourself and others. Unfortunately, it's very common for people sometimes to feel like they are too fat or too skinny or maybe they're not intelligent enough. Instead of doing this, you can insist on reaffirming how good you are, how much you love yourself. The words we choose to use are a very powerful tool. By using certain words, you can liberate yourself or enslave yourself and others. Your words let you communicate and express yourself, but it also transforms the way you think. In this regard, your words can create an idea in your mind. It can shape the sense of reality as well as form other people's opinion. A very important rule to liberate yourself and fly free in this life is to take nothing personal. Can you remember the last time somebody was rude to you and you took it personally? Let me tell you something. It's very important to keep in mind that this happened not because of you, it happened because of the person and something of that the person is dealing with at the current moment that happened. By taking things personally, people can be trapped in something that is called uh, personal importance. Personal importance is a state when you believe that everything that is going on in the world is about them. But in reality, nothing that is happening around you is about you and to you. Actually, everything that another person is doing is about them. So if they're saying something to you, like let's say you are too skinny or too fat, it really means that at this current moment, the person is actually dealing with this problem of judging himself, of being um, maybe too skinny or too fat, maybe intelligent or ignorant in some certain things. So truly is not about you. The sense of the problem is inside of the person that is being rude to you. One day the person can say that you are an amazing person just because the person feels happy. And another day when the person is gonna be very angry at you or maybe just not in a good mood, that person can tell you that you are the evil. To overcome this issue, you really need to focus on yourself and to understand yourself better and to know who you are, who you truly are. So you're not dependent on other people's opinion. And as a result, nothing that a person would say will actually affect you. The next rule would be instead of making assumptions, ask questions. When you make assumptions, you truly believe that the way you think your opinion is the only one that can exist. And when that opinion turns out to be duped, then you really feel frustrated. Most assumptions have literally no basis in reality. They do exist only in your imagination. I think there are so many situations that happen to us. Maybe sometimes our friend didn't call us and then we think that we are not important to a friend. Okay, I'm not gonna call and I'm gonna bother the person. Maybe he's too busy or something. So we are making this, by making these assumptions, we create the whole story the our imagination is working at that point very well but then instead of let our imagination work do their work we need our simply communication let it work and uh, you can ask a question to your friend as simple as that and ask him 
Why are you not calling? Is everything okay? Very often it happens just because the person is busy or there is something important going on in his life. And by making these assumptions, we create all this drama in our head. Meanwhile, in the reality, there is really nothing to be worried about. So assumptions in general are very damaging. Instead of uh, making assumptions, have courage to ask questions. The most important thing to remember is that a clear communication is everything. That means that you need to talk through any issue until you have a clear understanding of the problem. And finally, last but not least rule to reset your mind is always try to do your best, even if it's constantly changes. Do you remember when we were kids, our parents or our teachers used to say, just try to do your best. And you know what? They were right. After doing your best in anything and everything, you just simply don't have reasons to blame yourself and judge yourself. Knowing and accepting the fact that some days are really great and you're doing your best and then other days you were, might be less productive is normal. So just try to acknowledge this fact and to accept it. Just consider how different you feel in the morning when you wake up and you feel full of energy and you're ready to conquer the whole world. And then in the evening, you feel on the lower side of energy and you kind of tired and it's totally normal. So you just need to accept the fact that we are here human beings and we have different level of energy every day. When you constantly try to be and do your best, it's very important to remember that you take it mindfully because there is a high chance that you can end up being worn out by all the activities that you are doing and the force that in energy you are giving to a certain project or certain thing in your life. So simply do your best and do things at their own sake. You should work hard because it makes you happy, not because you are getting some external motivation, like for example, a weekly paycheck. So guys, here's the thing. Eventually we figure out that not all the things we learned in our childhood seem to be the sole truth. At this point of life, when we're not children anymore, we have the ability to alter our dreams and to change our beliefs. We truly need to know who we really are. And an amazing tool that I'm using already for years, as well as my husband, is the five minute journal. If you guys didn't hear about this journal, you really need to uh, learn about this. And I'm so happy to share this with you because this journal is amazing. It's very simple to use as it's called five minute journal. It really literally will take you five minutes to use. The five minute journal is a perfect tool to brush your brain like just you're brushing your teeth in each morning and each evening. So in the morning, you're stating certain things that you're grateful for as well as you are setting your day for some great things. And uh, in the evening, you kind of reflect your day and you write some things that you are happy that happened to you and some regrets that might happen during the day. So by using this journal, you actually help yourself learn what your life is about, what's important in life. You stay focused on things that are truly important. I'm really happy if I'm the first person to share with you about this journal. If I'm not and you are using this journal already, please let me know your thoughts and your reviews on this journal down below in the comments. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really, really happy to see you here on my channel and appreciate every minute of your attention. I will see you in the next videos. And